Lazulite. Lazulite, named after the German word lazulite, an alteration of the Latin lazuli, meaning blue, and from the Greek lithos, meaning stone, blue stone. Lazulite should not be confused with the mineral called lazurite, a component of the famous stone lapis lazuli, and with hazurite, a weathered copper or often associated with malachite. Lazulite is classified as a phosphate mineral. That implies the presence of the phosphate anion PO4 in its chemical formula. The complete composition is MgFeAl2PO42OH2, indicating that lazulite may contain either magnesium or iron. In a perfect world, lazulite would have a pure magnesium composition, while the iron analog is a mineral called scorzolite. With a hardness of 5.5 to 6, lazulite is, on some occasions, used in jewelry. While the mineral in general is common, well crystallized specimens are rare, particularly those from Rapid Creek, Yukon, Canada, which can only be mined during a limited window every year due to snow cover. This rarity makes large, well crystallized lazulite suitable for gem cutting, a more scarce commodity. Surprisingly, the first description of lazulite almost was attributed to a jeweler apprentice named Jacob Heiselgrian, who found an erratic in southern Sweden in the 1750s. Sadly, due to limited research experience and tools, the mineral remained undescribed for another 40 years, until in 1792, when chemist Martin Anrich Klaproth documented it in Germany. The chemist is known as the man credited with discovering uranium, zirconium, cerium, and many other elements. The passage in chapter X, page 90 of Schriftender, Gesellschaft, Naturforschender, Freunde zu Berlin, is very interesting. In this publication, Klaproth described the mineral as a blue fossil near Voro and described in detail his techniques used to determine the chemical element causing the blue color in lazulite. While primitive by today's standards, some of his approaches included an open flame and mixing borax with the crushed minerals to glimpse the reaction. Klaproth described lazulite as not being composed of cobalt or copper, the two prominent elements known back then to give the blue color to minerals. Wisely, he abstained from naming the elements causing the blue color and declared more research was needed. He came back to the mineral a few years later. While the lazulite might not have many practical applications, it is a mineral rich in human history and wonders. If you fell in love with this mineral and found a well-crystallized gemmy specimen in a store at a reasonable price, now might be the time to snatch it, as supply is quite limited and value will only keep on increasing with time unless a substantial deposit is found in the future. For more on everything about minerals, visit my channel Mindex. Thank you for sticking to the end. And please, do not forget to call the or the like and subscribe buttons. Out peace.